video tutorial on t-tests and SAS. So this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to do basic t-tests and SAS. Now, if you remember back, we actually saw how to do this in Proc Univariate, but this one's a little more uh, sophisticated. Now, I've already read into Cycler CPK dot CSV data set. You have it uh, previous videos where we've read it in. It's sitting in my work directory. Now, the procedure I want to do is Proc t-test. Uh, real original here. Okay, I'm going to put in the data that I'm interested in. Now, in this first line, I need to add all of the information that I'm interested in. So, for example, here I need to put uh, my null hypothesis, okay? So, I'm going to need to put my null hypothesis in order to get this to work correctly. So, uh, H0, I'm going to need to put in here, and let's say I'm interested in 500. I've used that in the previous video where we were playing with this data greater than 500. Now, I need to actually put on here the sides, Okay, so it's given me the value for H0, but which one is it? So if it's a two-sided test, I would put its size equals two here. And then I put the variable that I'm interested in down here. Uh, so the variable in this case would be CPK1, and I want to see if its mean is different from 500. And then I would run this, and when I run this, it will produce a considerable amount of output. So here we go. It's running. Here's our output. You can immediately see there's some plots. But what I want to look at here is the immediate uh, result here. So it tells us the uh, number of values used, the mean uh, that was in the data set, the standard deviation, standard error, minimum, maximum. It also creates a confidence uh, interval here, okay, uh, both on the mean and a confidence interval on the standard deviation. So if you were looking for a confidence interval on standard deviation, they're both here. But what we're really interested in is the test, right? So here we have 39 degrees of freedom. The T value is virtually zero. And notice that our P value is 0.97. So no one in their right mind would say that the mean is different than 500 for this data set. And here it gives us a histogram of the data. It has a kernel density estimate overlaid it with a normal density estimator overlaid it. It has a box plot down here at the bottom so you can look at it. Uh, you can also see this green range and this will show up when we do the one-sided test because you'll see it will go completely in one direction. But this green range here is actually the confidence interval in a visual format. You also get the QQ plot, so you can do some basic assessment of normality in this case. So here you can see, well, it kind of follows a straight line, but not really. Okay, so let's jump back and look at our code here. Now, this was two-sided test. Now, if I wanted an upper test, I need to actually put that in here. So let's just copy and paste this, because we only need to change one thing. If I want it to be the upper sided, I'm going to put a U. Okay, so this will tell it I want to be greater than versus less than. And if I run this, just by simply changing it to U, I get virtually the same output. But notice that the confidence interval now goes above the mean. And my p-value is virtually half of what it was before because now it's a one-sided test. Okay, and similarly, we'll go back here and change it to the lower. We'll change it to L. Uh, maybe we should copy and paste this, actually. So leave you there. We're going to copy and paste this. We'll do L. And this should give us the lower side. Now, you should probably, if you're copying this down, put lots of comments in. Okay, now notice that this confidence interval is on the lower side. P-value, again, here is pretty half, almost half of what it was for the... Uh, one with a two-sided test, and it, it provides the same information otherwise, uh, except for the confidence intervals now have a lower bound of negative infinity. All right, so now we've played with this a little bit, and now we have a basic way to do hypothesis tests. These are one sample t-tests in uh, SAS, and they're pretty easy to do. You should really go back and comment this code. So here we can say uh, lower than, this would be a greater than test. And this one would be two-sided. All right, so now that we've got these commented up, we can move on to the next video and look at a two-sample test.